Tonight, new complaints about the company Solarin. That is the company accused of putting imposter police officers on Nashville streets. Now, we talked to a man who filed one of those complaints. He says the state agency that oversees security guards needs to take action. Now, we also found Solarin got in trouble two years ago for allowing someone to wear a security guard uniform who had never been trained. Our Jeremy Finley has more. Sammy Allen says he had no choice two years ago but to turn these text messages over to the state. I had to step in and put my foot down again just because I didn't want nothing bad to happen to her. The longtime security officer says a female friend was posting pictures of herself in a security uniform at a bar while working for the company Solarin. He texts her about it. Take a look. She admits she's working security here. He writes back, when did you get your security license? She answers, um... He then says, you do realize that's a felony for impersonating a licensed officer. In the complaint, he cites the text, quote, Jack Bird III knew she was unlicensed and that they kept scheduling her for security. Jack Bird is the owner of Solarin, whose company is at the focus of a WSMB4 investigation, accused of hiring people who aren't licensed police officers, but wear police identification. Some are accused of also acting as police officers. But in this case, Allen says the company also allowed an unlicensed person to be identified as a security guard. The state ultimately fined them $250 in 2021 in a consent order. The document shows Solarin accepted the order to avoid formal charges. There's Bird's signature accepting the fine. When a company as big as Solarin gets out there and starts doing that, it's a big issue because then everybody else follows suit. Now, two additional complaints have been filed with the state following our investigations into Solarin. We told you how the Davidson yeah, County District yeah. Attorney is reviewing a case in which police say Bird picked up a gun from the scene of a deadly shooting, put the gun in his vest, and later brought it back to investigators. The new complaint reads that Bird was wearing police identification at the time, showing this photo from security video, wearing a vest reading police even though Byrd isn't a licensed police officer. And this additional complaint includes video of a car with multiple flashing lights. The complaint reading, Jack uses his blue and red lights on different occasions in different cars. He is making all of us look bad as security and especially making the police look bad as well by acting reckless and thinking that he's above the law and him and his guys can do anything they want. I felt that I needed to report this, especially after what I saw on Channel 4. Jeremy Finley reporting tonight. Now we asked the DA's office about if Bird broke the law by picking up that gun. A spokesman says they are reviewing it with Metro Police right now. And a few hours ago, Bird himself emailed us here at Channel 4. He wrote in part, quote, if a single shroud of truth, his words, came from your reports, don't you think I would be held accountable, end quote. Well, that will be for the state or the district attorney to decide. We'll be right back.